Migraine can have a huge effect on day-to-day -day life. Anyone who suffers will know how attacks can affect their work and play. Every year, 25 million days are lost from school or work due to migraine, costing the UK economy a billion pounds. New research just published by the clinically proven migraine treatment Forehead Quickstrip has revealed that nearly three quarters of sufferers when they have an attack experience pain that is continuous and without relief and have symptoms that are uncontrollable and violent. Nearly two thirds describe the pain as like being hit over the head with a hammer. Over a third said it was like being repeatedly stabbed with a sharp object from inside their head and a tiny fraction say it was like being stabbed repeatedly in the head by needles. Knowing your migraine triggers is key to trying to control an attack, but for many sufferers it's not that easy to stop a trigger. Forehead Quick Strips research revealed that for 85% of sufferers, stress and exhaustion is a trigger, and the time of the month can play a part for nearly a third of women sufferers. Trying to avoid triggers like stress is not that easy. Stress follows us everywhere, and the daily pressures of life can build up without us necessarily knowing. As for hormones, they're a law unto themselves. Simple painkillers can help with some of the headache, but they may not control the violent pain, the nausea, or other symptoms. Sometimes it's not that easy to take a painkiller, and many of us don't like taking tablets all the time. Rebecca Stevens is someone who knows this all too well. When I suffer with a migraine, I actually feel really nauseous, but also my head feels like I have a pulse in my head that's just like beating, like a heartbeat in my head. And also I feel like someone's hit me over the head. Unfortunately, I don't actually know what triggers my migraines. I do tend to get them when I'm a bit run down, dehydrated or stressed. I have read recently though that migraines and high blood pressure might be linked. So I actually suffer from both migraines and high blood pressure. So I'm going to go to see my GP and see if mine could actually be connected. Sometimes when I have a migraine, I don't always like to take tablets to relieve the pain because I can feel really nauseous and also I find they can take quite a long time to kick in. One solution for people like Rebecca who want to tackle the pain of a migraine fast whilst waiting for their medication to kick in is to use forehead quick strip. In latest test trials, the cooling pain relief action of Quickstrip was felt quickly, aiding pain relief in 9 out of 10 trialists. In fact, in the same study, over half, 60%, said it helped to control the throbbing and dull the pain down, and a quarter said it helped to relieve the violent, sharp aspects of the pain. You can apply it to both the forehead and the back of the neck, and it gives a natural cooling sensation, which helps deal with the pain really fast while you wait for your medication to kick in. Also, while I was pregnant with my son, I used forehead quick strip because you can use them while you're pregnant, unlike some other migraine medication. The other clever thing to note about forehead quick strip is that it's completely natural, containing the powerful painkiller Levamenthal in an advanced hydrogel patch. As a result, it can block the pain signals caused by migraine headaches. Whilst dealing with your migraine is vital, there are other things you can do to avoid or minimise the effects of a migraine headache. Eat regularly and avoid sugary snacks. Drink plenty of fluid. At work, try and avoid fluorescent flickering lights. Talk to your boss about more suitable lighting and take regular breaks from computer work. Lastly, if you get a migraine, deal with it fast. In the long run, this will lessen the length of the attack.